Psalm 103 verses 1 to 2, 3 to 4, and 9 to 12. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow to anger, and rich in compassion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. In the first two verses we are told, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, means to worship ship him. O my soul, means from the deep part of our existence, our own soul. When we go to church are, we really worshipping as we should? Or are we going, observing the rituals, and mindlessly repeating prayers as the Pharisees did to gain the admiration of our friends and neighbors? At 29 13 and 14, the Lord said, Since this people draws near with words only and honors me with their lips alone, though their hearts are far from me. And their reverence for me has become routine observance of the precepts of men. Therefore I will again deal with this people in surprising and wondrous fashion. The wisdom of its wise men shall perish, and the understanding of its prudent men be hid. As you can see God views this type of worship meaningless, lip service. It becomes just empty talk, without conviction, or intention. We need to pray, to worship with conviction, a firm belief in God's righteousness, love, and mercy toward all who worship from the depths of their soul. Dipping down to our soul, where the Holy Spirit lives, can we worship God, in the light of His Word. Verse 2 tells us why, do not forget all the gifts of God. We should worship by reaffirming our trust in the Lord to remove our sins from us as verse 12 to 13 tells us, as far as the east is from the west, so far have our sins been removed from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on the faithful. We ask for that forgiveness when we truly worship the Lord. Like other Psalms of David, Psalm 103, shows God's loving fatherly relationship with humanity. In today's reading we hear David's reasons for belief and his need to worship, which also extends to us. If we ask he will, pardon all your sins, heal all your ills. God heals all your ills physical, emotional, and spiritual. Only he can save us from hell, yet he does it with kindness and compassion. He doesn't seek revenge for our transgressions yet, he does take time to point us in the way of righteousness. Verse 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our trans transgressions from us. Why east to west instead of north to south? There is a limit to north and south. At some point you will cease traveling north and will be forced to move south. But east to west is unlimited, you can continually travel to the east and never have to change direction while you circle the world. God has put an everlasting separation between us and our past sins once we ask for his forgiveness. God is the father of all humanity and we should be grateful that he treats us with total love and compassion. Worship is so much more than the songs that we sing on Sunday morning. It is the life that we live the rest of the week.